Did you know that horses were domesticated well after cattle and dogs? And that they were used in harness long before humans rode on their backs? In the country where meadows flourish from north to south, horses more than a means of transport to Mongolian. There are myths and legends about Mongolia, but that doesn't change the fact that this interesting country is one of the best to visit in Asia. Mongolia is a rugged country of mountains, desert and grassland steppes dotted with nomads' jurors. Only three million Mongolians populate this scenic nation from more than 25 ethnic groups, including the Khak, Tuvian, Kazakh, and Buryat. Most of them are considered unreached people groups with little or no access to the good news. Nomads comprise over one-fourth of Mongolia's population. They are farmers and herders, moving from time to time in search of fresh pastures. During the winter months, they settle in one place to ride out the frigid temperatures. Their life and work is arduous and their numbers are slowly dwindling as young people move to the towns and cities. Around 800 years ago, the empire of Mongol delivered terror to anywhere their horses ran, from whole continent of Asia to Europe. Grass can't grow where Mongolian horses hooves go best describes the power of the former empire. Over the centuries, using chariots as well as mounted warriors, nomadic armies of Mongols struck south of the Great Wall and into the heart of Europe. The legendary 13th century warrior Genghis Khan established an empire that extended from Hungary to Korea and from Siberia to Tibet. Known in Europe as Hell's Horsemen, Mongols could ride up to 80 miles a day, across deserts and mountains considered until the arrival of these mounted armies to be impassable. The administration and consolidation of the vast Mongol Empire was closely tied to the use of the horse. Genghis Khan established an imperial circuit of communications similar to the famous Pony Express of the American West. Genghis Khan's system had way stations for post riders established in strategic locations across the empire. This system enabled commands to be rapidly dispersed and news to be brought swiftly to the capital. The peaceful country of Mongolia now, renowned around the world for its endless steppe, nomadic culture, and of course, Genghis Khan, is a breathtakingly beautiful place to explore that will delight nature lovers and outdoor fishing autos alike. While it is precisely for its wild and rugged landscapes and endless nothingness that people visit Mongolia, the landlocked nation also has a number of gorgeous alpine lakes for you to enjoy, as well as towering mountains and the desolate Gobi Desert. Mongolia has much more to offer tourists more than what they think of. Hidden away among the vastness of the scenery are remote yurt camps for visitors to experience the time-honored traditions of Mongolian nomads and their famed generosity and hospitality. The peaceful country remains its undiscovered beauty lies within ranges of mountains and valleys. The legendary name of Genghis Khan comes along with the country. As a result, none of the tourists traveling won't miss the statue complex of this emperor. Simply breathtaking, 
The gigantic statue of Genghis Khan atop his horse glimmers in the light as he imperiously looks out over all the steppe and mountains surrounding the complex. Towering to a height of 40 meters, the statue was built in 2008 to honor the 800th anniversary of the founding of the Mongol Empire. Its sheer size and scale are certainly fitting of the man who rose to rule such a huge swat of territory and is an national hero in the country. Rise high from the land of Mongols, the Genghis Khan statue complex lies around 50 kilometers outside of Ulaanbaatar, capital of Mongolia. Once visitors arrive, they find souvenir shops, a restaurant, and an amazing archaeological museum to check out. From the top of the horse's head, people can enjoy some awesome views out over the surrounding countryside, and a close-up view of Genghis Khan gazing out towards the horizon. Approximately 30% of Mongolian is nomadic or semi-nomadic, where horse culture remains integral. This is why Yulan Bader has the most population density in this country, the home of more than half Mongolia's population. The sprawling capital city is best known in Mongolia, as well as its cultural, administrative, and commercial heart. While its downtown is a bit of an eyesore, with Soviet-era buildings lying alongside modern menstrual cities, there are some enchanting old monasteries scattered about here and there. Choijin Lama and Ganden Takchinlin are the best of the bunch and tucked away in the endless sprawl, you can still find a work or two. When it comes to its museums and art galleries, Ulaanbaatar is truly blessed. It is well worth spending a couple of days trawling its extensive collections and artifacts. The Bagd Khan Winter Palace and Mongolian National Motor Tart Gallery are particularly delightful to peruse. Beside the legendary warriors, Mongolia is also known for the fourth largest desert on Earth, Gobai Desert. The harsh, unforgiving climbs of the endless Gobai Desert certainly aren't for the faint-hearted. That's what makes them so exhilarating to explore. With infinite dunes, ancient rock formations, and desolate desert stretching out, Venturing into the Gobi Desert is the adventure of a lifetime. Tucked away among this bleak yet strangely alluring landscape are a wealth of amazing natural sights, with rugged cliffs, plunging canyons, and cavernous caves all on show alongside picturesque desert oases and saltwater rivers. With the fresh and clear atmosphere, Gobi Desert is the best place for stargazing where the Milky Way reveal its full beauty in front of the visitor's days. Nowhere are horses more central to daily life than in Mongolia. Mongolia is known as the land of the horse and Mongols have a reputation for being the best horsemen on earth. It is not possible to imagine Mongolian history without horses, says the president of Mongolia. This way of life was centered around horses, which were used as mounts, pack animals, and as a source of food. Whole villages learn to ride and Mongolian children learn to ride when they are as young as three years old. The story of Mongolian ride horse before they can walk is just an exaggeration, 
but learning to control on the horseback at three year old is, without a doubt, an achievement at such a young age. Horse racing is a favorite sport, and young children are often the jockeys, as the Mongolians believe the race tests the horse's ability, not the rider's. Mongols have a large vocabulary of horse-related terms and believe that one rides to heaven on a horse. Mongolia is a diverse land with many beautiful places to discover, from the capital Ulaanbaatar to its sweeping natural wonders. Whether you want to take in some culture or see what Mother Nature has to offer, you'll find it anywhere in this amazing Asian country.